Welcome back guys, we're gonna play some more Cradle and when we last left off we were gonna go see this air shuttle guy and hit him with this flashlight so he'll stop ringing that bell. I think that was the plan. Sounds like a good plan. Well, where'd you disappear to? Listen, I found out how much they're paying. It's good money, very good actually. I'm going tomorrow. The procedure is simple. No pain and almost no damage. Sure, your brain is a little worse for wear while their patient recovers, but a job's a job, right? I might uh -huh. even quit the whole flower collecting business. But all that's still just castles in the sky. In the meantime, we've got Fido copies to sell. I got an order for you, so listen up. Two red, 70 at the least, one orange. Mm. I have no idea what's going on right now. Sorry, I don't know what that means. Who are you? Enabish, I ain't got time to spare, so why are you wasting it? Tabaha is gonna get fired. I don't want to go back to getting shut down for 20 days in a month span. Okay, alright, that would suck, yeah. I lost my memory, Tabaha. What are Fido copies? If this is a joke, it's a real dumb one. You're wasting time here. Tell me what Fido copies are, and why we sell them. Cop the crap. What do you mean, why sell them? Because people buy them. HQ goods are valuable. Somebody beautiful can license a copy of their DNA and sell it, which can then be used to make all sorts of stuff. Androids, flower vases, like the one on your table. As for you and I, we digitize flowers, make them into Fido copies and sell them. Understand? People like seeing a high number on the display. Beautiful things are always valued. Hmm. Why don't you collect the flowers yourself? Yeah. Are you mocking me? I've had enough of that. My head still ain't right after the last time. You're the weirdo around here. Strolling right alongside the enclosure without any harm. I'm just an old miserable outsider. Pretty damn useless too. Then again, I'll be healing beautiful folks soon. Guess there's some use left in me yet. Heal them from what? I told you, their emotions are all gone. They walk around like zombies, blinking vacantly. Treatment is in full swing. Donors are needed. Donors of what? What else? Immunity. Turns out the elite are more susceptible to panic. Some kind of burnout in their heads. So that's what happened. Emotional burnout in all the beautiful folk. Now they need their immunity to panic restored. But that immunity needs to come from somewhere, right? And who is it that endures panic best? Who are you gonna turn to? I don't know. The uglies? Bingo! But see, nearly all the uglies have been put to sleep. So now they're being woken up. Fine, Tabaha. So, you want me to pick some flowers? No, damn it, not pick some flowers. <laughs> if you go and pick the first flowers you see, feel free to stuff them right up your nostrils. Who's gonna buy those? What I need is the prettiest flowers you can find. Sure is picky. I'm not really an expert on aesthetics. Amazingly, today you're even weirder than usual. Look, you take the genome go up to the flowers and measure their beauty. I need two red gabarits with a 70 HQ or higher, no lower. One orange, 80 or higher, and one yellow, 90 or higher. Make sure to measure only fully open flowers, else the phytocopier will jam up and cleaning it is a pain. Aim at the center of the flower, lest it close up before you're done measuring. Once picked, digitize it with the phytocopier, then pack everything. Yeah, I can remember that. Back into what? Same as always, into a box of covers. Alright, that sounds doable. I'll be back in three hours. What do you want for the job? Want me to bring back food? I need a lens. For a female embody. A lens won't help that vase of yours. It was already barely functioning when your late grandfather bought it up in buying Hangor. Ain't nothing you can do. It's a cheap, pirated copy. Let it go. It's been gathering dust for years, so let it. Oh, that's so sad. Bring me the lens, Tabaha. Fine, I'll bring it. 
But I want you to know that you're slowly losing your marbles out here. You should move to the city. I'll be sure to do that. Just one more question. Shoot. What is that number on your chest? What does it mean? Ha! <laughs> Good one. Seriously, I didn't see it coming. All right, I'm off. Tons to do and the weather is getting nasty. Get yourself a hat. A warm one, made of fur. Know what I'm talking about? Get back here, I'm not done talking. Shake my fist at you. Eh, take that. Aw. Where's my flashlight? Alright, so I'm guessing we gotta go pick some flowers now. Alright, I had that reader here somewhere. I think this is it. Yeah, that looks like it. Let's do this. Wait, what's this thing? Oh, cool. Which question? Oh, that did nothing. The number on the chest is a personal heredity quotient. Everybody's got one, yourself included. It represents the degree of purity of your DNA. Wait, really? In what? other words, it's your value to society. I don't see it. I, I can't see it on me. I don't see it. Oh, well. Fully open. Looks open to me. That looks open. Huh. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Oh, that's different! Wait, what? Aim better. Okay, this one was good. Wait, where'd it go? Is it that Is it this one? Oh! I think it was this one. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it's opening. One! Ooh! 92! Flower picking simulator... Yoink! Piece of crap! What the hell is that? No, 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 seriously, what... What is... What is that? That was here last time. And it, and there's another one. Why are there two? That's, why is it coming closer? I'm trying to pick some flowers. Leave me alone. Le uh, let's follow. I don't know you. Come on. Uh, yes. Yoink! I said yoink! Alright, so I remember I had a washing machine looking thing. Yeah! I think that makes copies. Let's try it. Eight, nine. Oh, maybe I should hang on to that. Yoink. All right. All right. What do we got? What do we got? 
Ah yes, pack him into the box. Into uh into the box. This box? This looks like a box that I would pack things into. Uh yeah, let's try it. Sweet. Alright. Speak with Ida. Oh, okay. Yes. Let's do that first. You know, I was thinking... I can ask Tabaha to help you with the evacuation. No, Anabish. That's a bad idea. Until I've checked the number of my neurocopy, nobody must know about me. Why is that number so important? Because I'm not sure of my authenticity. We don't know where my neurochip was before making its way to you. If I'm a duplicate, then I'll simply be arrested. At the first registration. Well, alright. It's your call. So, let's check your number. Nothing on that front either. I found a list of the amusement park's employees, but for some reason, my name isn't on it. But I'm sure I used to work here. I need more particulars about the park, anything at all. My memories are fragmented and don't tell me anything. But you remembered something, yes? Tell me. Well, I remember that all kids would undergo a transfer after the show. I don't know why. Undergo a what? A mirror transfer. That's what the procedure of transferring consciousness into a mechanical body is called. Meaning, the kids would leave the Gerbera Garden in M bodies. Strange, isn't it? Doing a transfer at an amusement park. Strange is the word. And another thing, their age. These kids were really young, around five, six at the most. What's odd about their age? They were way too young for a transfer. Little kids don't get their bodies replaced, but they did here, for whatever reason. And I played some kind of role in it. Only I don't remember what it was. That doesn't make sense. Maybe you'll remember more once your sight is back. Maybe. If Tabaha makes good on his promise. And if there's a functioning look screen in the park. Tell me more. Tell me more about this device. The look screen. Do you mean its purpose? Uh, sure, let's go with that. Yes. How does this screen provide sight? A look screen doesn't provide sight. Rather, it displays an image of eyes. Oh, like this. I think it's used in a transfer somehow, but I don't recall exactly how. I'll try to remember while you're out. I'm on my way. Which pavilion should I look in? The second. And don't forget... Don't forget what? The box with the phytocopies. Oh, right, thanks. Yep, got it. Help me understand something. What? Uh, um, 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 um. Whose eyes are on your look screen? Mine. The same eyes I was born with. The same shape and proportions. Everything is stored in the Geno chip. My entire DNA. Got it. Wait, wait, can Did I ask more? what I asked? Uh... Help me understand something. Sweet. What? Um... Why is it illegal to transfer children? I'm not sure. I think that it has to do with their nervous system, its development. Doing a transfer before it's fully formed is dangerous. Got it. And, uh, one more thing. Did you bring what I asked? Help me understand something. What? You said these were five-year-old kids, right? I don't remember their exact age, but they looked no older than five, maybe six. And their new bodies, were they similarly small? No. Nobody even manufactured children's M bodies. There were only two standard models, adult and teenager. Children were transferred into teenage bodies. When leaving the Gerbera Garden, they looked around 15. 
Not the coziest garden imaginable. How am I standing? I see you. Opening. How am I standing here? This is crazy. Craziness. Alright, looks like we're gonna toss some more blocks. Thirty cubes. Oh, pink this time. Blah, blah blah. Use bombs to destroy the green blocks. Apply a pink cube to red one to make the bomb explode. All right. Wait, why did I do that? No, no. <laughs> Yay! It's not sunny anymore. Aw, looks like Seattle. Alright, well. Alright, let's take that lens from that guy. Wait, there I told is. you about the mirror between you and your former body. So, the mirror is turned on at the exact moment when your former body loses its original's right. It is concealed to keep you from seeing your face as it's put to death. The reason is that sometimes there are involuntary, mimicking contractions that resemble a smile. Obviously, that is something best left unseen. Oh, you got a hat. Nice. Have you got a death wish? Why would you go there? Where? Oh, nowhere. Did you bring the flowers? Here you go. Atta boy. Here is your lens. My word is my bond. I'm not even going to ask what you want with it. I don't know what's going on in your head today. And I don't want to know. To Baja? What do you know about this amusement park? Stay away from it if you know what's good for you. Why do you think it's been fenced off? Because you oh. shouldn't go in there. You'll be better off. Hmm. You must remember something. Tell me. Think, man. I wasn't even around back then. There was an amusement park. And I guess someone must have exploded in there. Am I supposed huh. to remember every explosion that ever happened? All I know is this damn poison-filled behemoth has been standing there for 20 years now. And nobody ever gave a crap. But suddenly you do. Why? I'm curious. It's just so... strange. Sure it is. But why do you care? What are you after? I want to know why kids were undergoing transfers. If they were, then there was a reason for it. 
Why does that even surprise you? It's just a regular mere transfer. But to Baja, they don't do transfers to kids. To ordinary kids, they don't. These kids, they might not have been all that ordinary. I saw them once at an airport, with their teachers. I remember those kids standing there all pale and silent. It was forbidden to talk to them. So there. At an airport? Where were they coming from? From all over. They were being brought here from all corners of the world. What's so special about these parts? Damned if I know. There used to be some kind of station here. A polar station. They were researching something. Polar? I think that's what they called it. It didn't interest me in the slightest. Tabaha, I've got a request for you. Uh, let me guess. You want me to dig up everything there is to know about the Gabera Garden, am I right? Yes, yes I do. Or, this is good too. Only what happened on the day of the explosion. Jeez, Anabish. Won't you just forget about this damn garden? Fine, I'll look into it. Thanks, Tabaha. All right, I've got a roll. Last thing I need is to rack up airs and lose my wits. You know how vulnerable I am to that stuff. I may look calm and collected, but I've got crazy energy and passion for life. And for these things, yeah. You look just plain odd. Those glasses and nose. These glasses are one of a kind. You couldn't get them in your wildest dreams. But I got them at half price. That's because I'm a high roller, while you'll be chasing such luxuries all your life. Uh, they're the funny disguise ones, though. Eh. Please, don't forget about my request. Don't forget me! Don't forget! Did you bring what I asked? I did. The look screen as well? The look screen and the lens. Let's connect them. Disconnect the broken look screen. The input is inside right behind it. Install the lens first and then my eyes. And then your eyes. Why did I just repeat that? That's just... that was weird. Alright. Uh, okay, so we take this off first, right? Okay. Oh, right, 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 right. That's crazy. Whoa, 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 they're moving. Stop that. Stop that. That's freaky. Well? How's your vision? Is it working? Yes. I just... Ah, uh, now what? What? Mm, nothing. It's fine. My eyesight is back, thank you. Hmm. What happened? Did you remember something? Yes, actually. I did. Oh, good. I know now why I wasn't on that list. Why weren't you? I wasn't on staff. I would come to the Gerbera Garden with the kids and go back with the same group. Meaning, I wasn't a full-time employee. I merely accompanied the children. Tabaha said those kids were accompanied by teachers. Those weren't teachers. It was psychologists that accompanied them. I'm a children's psychologist. Oh. Oh. Why the need for a psychologist at an amusement park? Enabish, this is not an amusement park at all. 
Those kids didn't come here for entertainment. They were gravely ill and were brought here for treatment. The Gerbera Garden was a clinic. Oh. What were they treated for? Some kind of psychological disorder. Quite severe, often oh. fatal. But it's hard to say exactly what it was. I can't recall. You mean the transfer was their therapy? One part of it, yes. There was a whole set of measures. Body replacement was the final phase of the therapy. We also searched for parts and staged plays. They too were part of the treatment. And the cubes? Were they also part of the treatment? The cubes, the flower beds, even the height of the pavilions. All were deliberate, mandatory elements of the same therapy. The Gerbera Garden was constructed specifically for those children. It was the only means of treating their illness, peculiar though it may have been. The illness must have been peculiar to match. It's still hard for me to imagine what it might have been, but those kids, they evoked more than just compassion. There was something else, some other complicated, ambiguous feeling. Tabaha is right. Those kids were unusual. Yes, and the amusement park was as well. Which means all arrivals had to be registered, myself included. I'll try to look for some kind of visitor's logbook or... Or what? What is it? My battery. It's nearly discharged. Bad news. I need you to make sense of all this. In that case, Anubis, you'll need to... Play with those cubes some more. Yay! Sure thing, Ida. I'll play. Which pavilion? A moment. Hands. Wrists. There, the fuel cell. Tenth pavilion. Help me understand something. What? You mentioned original's right. What is that? That's a right to bear identity. When a new M-body is activated during a transfer, it is also bestowed original's right, thus acquiring an identity. At that very moment, the former body loses this right and is destroyed. Destroyed? Why? I'm not sure. Perhaps to ensure the two never communicate. Why? What would happen if they communicate? I can't be sure. That's a rare occurrence. I believe the consequences are rather strange. They... I don't know how to explain it. Got it. Alright, so I guess I gotta go to the 10th pavilion. And throw some more blocks around. And win a battery. I think we're gonna end this here. So I'll see you guys in the next video.